Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio, your station for empowerment, music, and talk radio. EB Radio presents Empower Hour with Jerisha. show that shares the stories behind the journeys of leaders, influencers, and motivators. The Empower Hour with Jerisha begins now. Pamela Hankel is the founder of The Purpose Center. Pamela is a mindset mentor, author, speaker, minister, and transformation coach. Her weekly podcast, international radio show, and television show are a lifeline that changes lives and inspires people to discover their individual potential through realizing their purpose by design. Pamela is a natural motivator and has shown many how to find their niche and transform their lives. Although success is an uphill battle, Pamela gives the necessary strategies to flourish, cheering you on every step of the way. Pamela shares from her personal experiences, education, and life as a woman in leadership, utilizing decades of knowledge, taking the approach of, let's have coffee and chat. She will awaken your dreams and purpose by design. Are you ready for Pamela to help guide you? Email us at purposewpamela.office at gmail.com. Good evening, amazing people. Welcome to Empower Hour with Jerisha. I am your host, Jerisha Moore Smith, and it's another amazing Wednesday. And if this is your first time tuning in, I'm so happy that you're tuning into the show this evening. I want you to know that I believe you have the power to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. So on this show, I speak with leaders motivators, and influencers who want to share their stories and journeys to empower the world for growth and success. And tonight, I want to wish every last one of you a special thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support and tuning in every single Wednesday at the same time, at the same place. So every single week on this show, we generally take a look at an empowerment quote that we are pondering and how it can truly help us empower ourselves for growth and success. So this week, I want to talk about a statement, a statement that simply says, there is no other option. Now, I know someone out there understand this to the fullest, but I truly, truly want to talk to those who may be struggling who may be struggling right now, right at this moment, needing someone to encourage and empower you through it. I want to speak to you, my amazing friends from all over the world. When you have a dream, a goal, and a purpose, understand that there there should be no other option but making that dream come true, accomplishing that goal, and living your purpose. There is no other option. There is no other option. Is you leaning on and claiming and affirming every single time when, when it gets tough and when the struggle gets rough, you push forward because guess what? There is no other option. When you come from a place that you recognize, okay? When you recognize there is no other option, you stop making excuses. And, in, and you stop running back to the people, the places, and the things that, that don't serve you or your purpose. And frankly, those things keep you in a position that you were never meant to stay in. A position that you can't grow in. A position that welcomes your excuses and embraces the average and mediocre. When there is no other option... But for you to be, do, and have what you want in life, you look at life differently. I believe that you walk different and you talk different because you're dedicated to you, your purpose, your vision, your goal, and living in your greatness. You see, amazing friends, 
I truly tonight need to be very transparent and clear because I decree, declare, and claimed and affirmed this thing years ago. I said I will be successful. There is no other option. I believe that when you decree and declare things over your life and start positioning yourself for whatever that thing is, the biggest part is sealing it with that commitment that there is no other option. It's these options that that stop us from being great, doing great, and having great. And maybe you're saying, you know what, Jerisha, what do you mean? So I want to give you an example. Examples are good, right? The example I want to give tonight is an example of a single mom, a single mother of of four, okay? Single mother of four who at the age 19 had her first child. She went on to have three other kids. And during that time, she dealt with disappointment. She dealt with divorce, betrayal, financial hardship, anxiety, depression, health issues, and the list goes on and on. She had goals to finish school, to write that book, to start a podcast, to launch a business and become successful and have financial freedom. She wanted to live her best life. She wanted to live in her greatness and empower others for growth and success. Now through her journey, there were opportunities for her to make all kinds of choices. And she was faced with many, many different options. Every day in each of our lives, you have many different choices and many options. But what would happen if you declared that that thing that you are pursuing, whatever that thing is, that there is no other option but to get it, to accomplish it, to receive it. When we visualize our goal, we don't visualize You know, we visualize ourselves getting it. We don't visualize ourselves not achieving it. We do not visualize ourselves not achieving whatever that goal is. We see ourselves walking across the stage to get that degree. We see ourselves as the best-selling author. We see ourselves as launching that business. Typically, when we see our dreams, it's our thoughts that get in the way, right? It's our thoughts that get in the way through that self-doubt that makes those dreams fade away. When there is no other option, you make a commitment to keep pushing forward. No matter what happens, no matter what setback, obstacle, no matter what challenge, no matter what barrier you may be up against, you keep pushing forward until it's done. You see, when you give yourself all of these options, all of these other options, you allow yourself to throw in the towel. You allow yourself to get too comfortable in the statement, I will be successful. There is no other option turns into ifs and and maybes and I can't. And we make up all kinds of excuses as to why there is other options. Let me tell you this. When you have a burning desire, there is no other option and nothing and no one, even your self-talk, your negative self-talk can't stop you from achieving that thing. That woman with four kids that I spoke about is me. I struggled and every curveball that could be thrown at me was thrown. Every lemon that life wanted to give. Oh, trust me, it was given one after another. But I had, I have a burning desire to be, do, and have what I wanted in life and what I want in life. I told myself every single day, there is no other option. So tonight, I want to simply give you six steps that were very instrumental in helping me through this process. It helped me once I declared that there was no other option. When you have a burning desire, you recognize 
that you become so obsessed with whatever that thing is. You become obsessed with it that you figure out ways to get it and acquire that, whatever it is that you want. Now, this is the part that I'm going to tell you to please go and grab a notebook and write this down because this truly, truly helped me. But before I jump into the steps that helped me, I want to absolutely tell you all about a book, a resource that absolutely changed my life. Many of you may have heard of this book. Um, some, you know, you may not have heard of this book, but I will tell you that this book is truly, truly, truly amazing and is changing lives, okay? Has changed lives, is changing lives as we speak. This book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you haven't read this book and you, you want a copy, um, I am happy to put this out there and say, I will send the first 10 people that sends me an email. So if you reach out to info at empoweronpurpose.com and put in your request to receive the book, I will make sure we will send it to you for free. This book right here is an absolutely game changer for me. And I'll tell you that Think and Grow Rich, my goodness, there is so much information. I wish you all could actually see the way my book looks because it's definitely been a resource that I've used for years. It is not one of those books that you just read once and then it just collects dust on your shelf. It is truly a must read, the, a resource, if you will, that you just continue picking up and reading every single day, every single month. So I absolutely tap into Think and Grow Rich. And I'm going to be honest with you guys tonight that every time I, I read, <laughs> every time I open this book up, it's like it's something else that appears, something else that just opens up my eyes and gets me to thinking. And I absolutely love that. So again, if you are interested in getting a copy of the book, please send an email. The first 10 people to reach out will definitely get a free copy of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It is such a game changer. It is so it is so much a game changer that I really feel like everyone needs to read this. And that is the reason why I really want to gift it. I really want to gift it to you. Absolutely. And please, after you get your copy, send me another email to let me know what your thoughts are. I will actually be sharing information on an upcoming mastermind that is centered around Think and Grow Rich that we will be offering. But I, I absolutely want you to get the book, read it, and begin applying the principles in the book to your life. So let's get to, let's get back to these six steps that absolutely helped me through the journey, continues to help me as well. Now, the first point that helped me is all about being clear and knowing exactly what you want to accomplish. So before you can add anything to there is no other option, like how I mentioned, I will be successful. There is no other option. Before you can add anything to the statement, there is no other option. You have to know what you want. What is your burning desire? Be clear. Again, I tell you, be clear. Okay. So maybe it's, I want to be success. I want to be successful and, and make six figures in my business. There is no other option. So you have your notebook out now, write out what that statement would look like. What is your burning desire? The second, the second step, you know, after you have fixed your eyes on the prize and, and, you know, have really figured out that thing that you want and it doesn't have to be one thing. So let's be clear on that. I would honestly tell you to start with one thing first, but it doesn't have to be one thing because we have all these different areas of our lives and we're trying to accomplish so much. But I will say, again, make sure you're clear on what you want. That is extremely important. So once you have your eyes on the prize, it's time for you to determine exactly 
what you intend to give in return for what you want, what you desire. So if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, what sacrifices do you want to make? What sacrifices are you willing to make in order for it to happen? We know that in the entrepreneur uh, world, there are tons of sacrifices, let's be clear. So sacrificing of time, sacrificing of you know money, what sacrifices are you willing to make when it comes down to whatever you are desiring, whatever that thing is that you're going to say, There is no other option. I am going to strive for this. I am going to achieve this. I am going to do this thing. There is no other option. Be clear and then determine what you intend to give in return. The third step, after you know exactly what you intend to give, then you need to establish a date that you intend to receive this. So what is your desire date? that you want to accomplish it? What is your desire date that you're planning on receiving? Whatever that thing is, write that down. Write that down, okay? It's so important to write things down and I'll get to that in a second. So once you have set that desire date, let's move right on to step four. And that is it's time for you to create a plan of action for carrying out exactly what you want. What does that look like? Okay, so many times we have all these great goals that we want to accomplish. And let's be clear, we don't write things down. We have a goal, but yet we don't write things down. Well, how do you expect to accomplish anything if you have not written it down? So it's time to create that plan of action. And then you need to start immediately. Yes, you heard me correctly. You need to start immediately. You don't wait until the first day of the week or like how we will start the first of the month. No. Or some of us, you know, we, we, we say, okay, well, let's just start the first of the quarter. Or you may even be one that wants to just start the brand new, start everything at the beginning of the year. You have to start now. Okay. Even if you think you're not ready just do it. I know you've heard that time and time again. I'm going to say it as well. Just do it. There's a thing, there's a saying that goes like this. If you're trying to accomplish something, whatever that thing may be to go along with just do it, you have to jump, jump and build your wings on the way down. So I'm telling you, just do it, jump and build your wings on the way down because there is no other option. Step number five, This part is really, really, really important because I feel like you can't accomplish anything. As I just said, you can't accomplish anything without putting it on paper, without writing it down, okay? It's time to write out that statement, declaring exactly what you intend to acquire and make sure you be specific on what you're wanting, okay? You have to be clear and specific on what you're wanting, meaning name the time limit, what you plan to give in return, and your plan for carrying it out. Then you need to read it. So you don't just write it out and then close it up, put it in the notebook, put it on the shelf. No, you're going to write it out and then you're going to read it. Okay. You're going to read it twice a day. You're going to read it, affirm it, and believe that whatever that thing is, It is yours, okay? So when you have such a burning desire within you to achieve something, you are willing to make a commitment to yourself and to keep doing what you need to do because there is no other option, right? There is no other option. So I just gave you six steps. And in case you missed the sixth step, it was you have to claim it. You have to repeat it every single day, twice a day. Make sure you're following those steps. Because again, if you're on that journey, if you are saying, you know what, I want to be, do, and have what I want in life, you have to be willing to make that commitment. You have to make that commitment to yourself. Okay. So today I want to share with you Um, what I like to call, I guess, my miracle mantra. And I think I've talked about the miracle mantra before on the show. 
uh, my statement, a little bit of my my uh, desire statement. It's it's kind of all of that, all in one that I affirm twice a day, and um, it simply starts like this: It's my time to shine. I am ready to go to the next level to build a legacy, to build it for my last name. I am committed to maintaining unwavering faith that I will grow my business to over six figures and I will put an extraordinary effort until I do, no matter what, there is no other option. Now, today I ask you, why are you giving yourself the option to say no? The option to say, I can't do this, so I won't even try. Or what about the option to where you're staying in your comfort zone and you make excuse after excuse. When you decide there is no other option but for you to be, do, and have what you want in life, you receive that. But you have to, you have to have that burning desire and then take action. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's all about just having that burning desire. And I really don't feel like I have said that throughout the show this evening because we know that it requires action. But it starts with just that, having that desire. It starts with decreeing and declaring that thing that you are just so strong about, that thing. And then, of course, we know that it's a matter of the faith and having the faith that goes with it and so on and so forth. And I will definitely speak more on some of those things in other on other shows. But in closing, I just simply want to share these words with you. And they come from T-A-G-R or Think and Grow Rich. It simply says, I will burn all bridges behind me and stake my entire future based on my ability to get what I want. I ask you on this Wednesday evening, what bridges do you need to burn behind you? The bridge of self-doubt? The bridge of hurt? The bridge of disappointment? What about the bridge of failure or excuses or procrastination? You know, I can go on and on and you know the bridges that you're dealing with. You know those bridges that you need to burn behind you. Are you willing to stake your entire future today and move forward? And when we think about future, I'm not saying your future as in next month or two years from now or even a year from now. I'm talking about even a minute from now, five minutes from now, today. Are you willing to stake your entire future based on your ability to get what you want? You know, years ago, I I made that decision to stake my entire future on my ability to get what I wanted because I knew what I wanted and I knew that I had to work hard I knew I had to work hard and decree and declare there is no other option that I had to keep moving forward. When I was down, I had to get back up and de- and keep pushing forward. And again, like I said, decree and declare there is no other option but for me to achieve whatever that thing is. So every day I made that decision all over again, every single day. I wanted to continue to be, do, and have what I wanted in life. And I know that you can make that decision as well today. You can declare today. Today is the day that I do something different because there is no other option. Now, it has truly, 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 truly been amazing. And I absolutely, as I share on every last one of these shows, that I absolutely believe in you and believe that you have what it takes to be, do, and have what you want in life. You just have to be willing to be committed to that, whatever that thing is, and say to yourself that you have what it takes and you are committed to do whatever that thing is 
because there is no other option. <laughs> it has been truly, truly amazing. And I thank you for letting me empower you today. I thank you so much for tuning in to the Empower Hour of Jerisha show this evening. If you are interested in starting your own show or being a guest on the show, to share your amazing story and journey to equip, encourage, and empower others for growth and success, please visit EnvisionBroadcasting.com to learn more. Please tune in next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Envision Broadcasting or EV Radio, where you will hear another, another amazing story and journey from another leader, influencer, and, and motivator. Until next time. Stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Empower Hour with Jerisha, where Jerisha speaks with leaders, influencers, and motivators who share their journey in personal and professional growth. Empowerment Tips lessons learned, and keys of success that will empower you to your best self. Follow Jerisha on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jerisha Moore and visit www.empoweronpurpose.com. Remember to be intentional and be empowered and have a great day on purpose.